Hi guys, Steven Sart here, back with another episode of Sketch Sunday. In today's video, we are going to be drawing Parcival from Ready Player One. I'm going to be using this blue pen by Bic. Um, it's the one I recently got, um, 1.6. So it's pretty thick, but yeah, that's what I'm going to be using today. Um, I hope you guys have got your sketchbooks and pens ready to follow me along. Again, if you guys do end up doing this drawing, you can tag me in it or use the hashtag sketch Sunday DM. Um, it's a hashtag that I'll be checking out on Instagram. And if you don't have Instagram, well, you can tag me on Facebook or Twitter or anything like that. Um, obviously, the links to my Twitter, Facebook, all that stuff is in the description. And yeah, I'll check them out. And I'm just going to start around the eye area, the left eye. And then it's going to be a quite quick video. The last video was pretty long, but people seem to like it. The Thanos one, that was around almost 40 minute video and it's a sketch <laughs> but yeah I was enjoying myself way too much on that one but yeah Ready Player One I don't know if you guys have seen it yet great movie I have actually seen it twice I loved it I thought it was amazing um, it's just the type of films that I like I just like films like that fantasy type films um, and I, when the storyline is even better um, yeah it just makes the film even better and the storyline on this one was well how would I how can I put it straight fire like it was just legit it was great i loved it every moment of it um it's one of them films you can't really take your your eyes off the screen it's like <gasps> like it was a uh, it was just a great movie the characters were on point like i really loved it like even the villains were <laughs> legit um they were funny as well um stupid type of funny um yeah but let me know what you guys think of the movie if you have already seen it what, you, what was your thoughts on it um, did you, was it, I think it was better than what I expected, that's for sure, because I was not expecting that at all, and it came out definitely better than what I was expecting, that's for sure. Um, my girlfriend's favourite scene was the Shining scene, um, that was, yeah, I don't do horror movies, so, that's just, I was like, is this supposed to be a kid's movie, because this is kind of scary, <laughs> but it was a very, very good movie, I enjoyed it so much. Um, yeah, like I was saying about the villains, the villains were funny. Um, they weren't like villain villains where you like, obviously, because it's a game type, it's a game, it's about a game and obviously game power and all that stuff over the game. Um, so it wasn't really like they had like bad intentions of like killing people. You know what I mean? It wasn't like that type of thing. It was more of a, yeah, I just want the power, I just want to gain power of this and stuff like that. But it was the casting, everything perfect. I loved it. Um, there was not really anything negative I could say about the movie. If I should think, uh, think about it, like what did what didn't I like about the movie? There's actually nothing I can actually think of at the top of my head. Like I'm th trying to think about it. And I'm like, what didn't I like? And I think I liked almost everything <laughs> about the movie. Um, but another thing I want to talk about is um, it's not. I don't think this movie. There was parts of it that watching the movie and obviously the people being in this game with uh, like day and night. It's what they eat. It's what they breathe. It was. Just, it, it was just. That's just where it was. Like this is it for people. Like the world. The real. The real world was just bad, and so decided the game was the way to get out and stuff like that. And I think that's not pretty. That's not that far off what it is right now. Um, especially with like social media being around a lot of people depend on social media you know what I mean social media is their way out like if they don't get the likes if they don't get the shares um, like people start getting crazy like oh why are people not liking my stuff or why is my list not getting views yadi 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 and they start to lose themselves in it and forget why they actually started doing what they do, they were doing in the first place so I don't think this game the film I think that had like a subliminal message inside of it like it's happening but we don't see it we don't want to see it you know what I mean because obviously it is happening like social media we I probably a lot of you probably understand where I'm coming from with this the whole like people wanting the likes need the likes to feel like they're worth something where that is not the case. We're all worth something. We're all human at the end of the day. No one's above anyone else. 
we're all on the same level. Yes, some people might have more money. Yes, some people might obviously be more experienced and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, we're all human. You know what I mean? And we're all going to go into the same ground. So we're not different at all. But yeah, it really did. I don't know why I like the game. The film actually made you think as well about life. Like, could, could, could we actually get to this point where people spend more time inside of a game than they do in the actual real world? and actually lose ourselves within that so it made you think um, and I liked that as well I also liked the fact that it had like a backstory you know what I mean it was like a riddle it was obviously a riddle when obviously trying to figure out things and stuff like that but at the same time it had a backstory about the guy that created the game which was awesome um, I thought that was a great twist and it was just, it was just great like you know what I mean it was just sick. Um, but yeah, obviously, as you can see, I'm just messing around with the blue, going around and having fun with it. Looks pretty cool so far. Little bit of nose. Don't know how many minutes we're in. Okay, we've done about six minutes. Not bad, not bad. Mm -hmm. Again, if you don't have a blue pen, don't have to use a blue pen. You can use black green yellow red any any pen you have even if you don't have a pen you have a pencil then that's totally fine as well there we go Alright, actually, no, another thing I wanted to talk about, the <laughs> film was like, the thing that I thought was weird, because obviously they kept on going back and forth. One time you'd be inside that, the, the game and all that stuff, and then you'd be out of the game. There was points when you were watching it, you, you, you forget about the real world, you're just like, okay, this movie is just, you know what I mean, it's just based on a game and stuff like that. And then, boom, it hits you back and it's like, oh yeah, these are actually people. <laughs> so, when you're watching it and it goes to like the game side, you're like, okay. It's just an animated film that we're watching right now, but the graphics were on point, like, wow, technology is coming far, man, we're, we're, we're just moving up and up and up and up, and things are just getting better and better and better, the graphics were really, really sick. As you can see here, I'm using the standard cross-hatching technique, which is actually what I use for most of my drawings, to be honest, I use this, and obviously, as I've been drawing for a longer period of time, I've developed my own little like technique. But the base is cross hatching. This is how it all started for me as well. Why so serious? He looks, he looks angry. Right now, not looking too shabby, too shabby. Let's do the chin there. Okay, let's draw my oh, brow.
The reason why I like thick pens like this is because obviously it takes less time to fill up areas, but also there's a there's a disadvantage to this as well because there's certain areas that only need like a thin line, and because the pen is so thick, you end up covering a lot of the areas that you don't really want to cover that much with pen. So you end up covering a lot of one area with thick or black whatever it is you're using and you really want it to just have like thin lines and the line comes out really thick and then you're just like eh, what to do yeah. I really believe that this movie was, was like for a lot of gamers. If you're a gamer, then obviously you recognize a lot of the characters. Um, I like the Mega Godzilla, and um, who else did I like? King Kong was in it. Um, I had the first uh, was King Optimus Prime, the original one. Um, the characters were just sick, man. That always his show. I really like show. A little year, eleven year old. <laughs> that was sick. I like that. I like that as well. That they, they kind of put that in there. Like you don't know how old people are in this game. Like a lot of these people you will never meet, but in the game you know them. That could be like a like a, a little ten year old or eleven year old that you're playing with but you won't know you know what I mean which was pretty sick boom okay let's just do this hairs right here
pretty cool. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Add a little bit more shadows and shading and lighting. I love creating sketches like this. It's fun. Fun, 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 fun. Yeah, bam. Okay, here we go. Do this one. Put the cheeks down. Bam. This part goes straight up to the band. Like that. The thing I would like about here, you don't have to follow the direction of the strokes. Just follow the direction, follow the direction, and you're good.
This is coming out cool, man. Don't know how long it's taking me though. 26 minutes, oh Jesus. write his name somewhere though. But we'll do that after maybe I did. Nah, we'll leave it at that. thumbs up if you didn't still give it a thumbs up don't forget to comment share and subscribe to demons art i'm demons i'll catch you next week in next week's get sunday it's been real thank you for watching and peace out